while because I've been here for 13 years, like I said, and I used to live up in City Park. And, you know, I never really experienced violence coming from New York the way I did here. So I always just was hoping that one day we can, you know, get together and have more activities for the kids because there's nothing for the kids to do. You know, some people, when you hear it on the news and, you know, your heart go out to them. But when it happened to me, I couldn't get angry. I wasn't angry. It was like now is the time for me to use my voice and speak and try to pull people together because sometimes it just takes you hearing someone's story to understand their pain to where you don't have to react on a negative level. You got a five-year-old baby, like, so now she gets to grow up without her father. Why make her father a shot? You know? So it's, it's going to stop because, like I said, this is just the beginning, and I'm going to do everything I can to push this city in the right direction. As long as I'm here, I'm going to keep fighting until there's things change, whether it's laws, streets, activities, whatever. But I would not let my son death be in vain.